Good morning. I'd like to do a quick video on a motorcycle fender repair. And uh, <clears throat> I'm still learning on how to make a decent video, so uh, just bear with me here. I got this little stand rigged up. I got a light up there. And there's the fender with a nice big crack on it. And this is the part that has been damaged. So obviously he wiped out. I bought this on eBay. And uh, we're gonna do a quick repair today on basically getting the structure back together again. And I don't wanna just use glue or anything like that. I wanna use, whoops, sorry. Okay, like that. I hope you can see that okay. So, I wanna weld this with its own material back and I wanna incorporate some metal in there. Now you can see there's a lot of resistance here, but that's, that's how it wants to stay. So, let's get right to it. This is real time. I don't have any editing skills or anything like that right now. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to get this guy tacked. And I mean welded. I got some staples here. Okay, let's get this going. I have a soldering iron. Now this is going to be a little bit hard to hold, but once we get it started, it's going to be all right. I'm just cutting right into it. Not going all the way through. So you can see it's black ABS. And I brought some, I thought I did, I thought I brought some pipe, but I already got the video started now, so I'm not going to fuss about it. It's a little tricky. Get the staples on there. Oh, come on. Right there. That's right where we want it. Let's get this guy in there. In you go. See that? Don't breathe this stuff in. That's why I'm outside. This is extremely toxic. Uh, that's why you're not allowed to use ABS pipe and multi-family dwellings. You're only allowed to use them in single family dwelling homes because when it burns, it'll snuff everybody out. So that piece of metal is right in there and we're gonna keep going with more, as many as we can fit in there. And we're gonna bring structure back to this fender. And you can see I, I folded the staples down in. I folded the staples in to give it a hook effect. That's two staples. Can I let go? I can let go now. Can you guys see all right? I hope you can. We're gonna put another staple right there. This may be one of the last staples in this little area. Oh yeah. See it go right in there? Get it right in there. And then, all right, so that's, that's that little area right there. And if you make it nice and smooth, there's nothing wrong with that either. Cause I don't plan on doing any extensive body work in this area because it's within there. Anyways, let's carry on. So I'm gonna, now I can work a little bit better. So I'm gonna cut in there again with the heat gun. Now that is, just cut it in there so it opens up the crack. 
Now let's get a nice staple. It's really cold out here too and my fingers aren't cooperating. Okay, get in there nice. You see that go in there nice? And then you close up that V that you made. More staples. Where's all my staples? Just press it right in. Don't go too deep. You have to assess how deep you want to go based on the thickness of the material. I say we put in one more. Here they are. Right there. Okay, so that's the top part. Now you can file that, you can sand it. But I'm gonna move on here. Now, can you see that okay like that? If I work like that, can I work like that? I think so. Okay, now you see this other crack? Let's see what we got going on here. This is where it's nice to have a third hand, but I don't have a third hand, so I have to make do with what I have. Now, is there a way I can hold this and work at the same time? Maybe. Yes, right, if I squish it like that. So let's, let's do one weld so it'll stay in place. Right like that somehow, I hope. This is a little tricky. I think we can do it. Oof. And then I'm going to incorporate some staples in a second, but I want to get it to fit properly. And I hope it'll... And, you know, just putting glue over these cracks, I find it doesn't work. You have to... You have to incorporate some fasteners okay it's holding up good so let's carry on with these staples and keep this video nice and short can you guys see all right i hope so okay come on let's get some staples on there right there right there In you go. In you go. You see that? I mean, you got steel in there now. How nice is that, right? Oh, come on. It's hard to get these guys to... Right there. Right there, oh yeah. Get it right in there. Right? That's two. Keep going. Plastic's pretty thin on this side, so we're gonna go just enough to embed it, just like that. Right? Nothing's coming through so far. Let's keep getting these staples in, because this video is just about 
getting the structure back together. It's not about Bondo or, or any other finishing touches. We just want to get integrity back into this fender. There's a few steps that need to go into this fender until I can repaint it. If you're looking for a material to use to weld this stuff, I would use ABS pipe. There's different types of ABS now. There's a really cheap one. It's uh, it's called um, oh geez, uh, co-extruded or it's really, it's really thin. Cellcore, sorry, Cellcore ABS. You don't want to use that. That's really cheap pipe. It's a knockoff of the real ABS. Okay. So that's it for this video. We'll call this one part one, and hopefully I can get to uh, some other stages of this repair job. This guy went down obviously on the right side, banged into here. There's all kinds of little ripples in here. These are gonna have to be sanded. And then probably use a good primer filler. It's not like I'm gonna do body work here. Here I'll have to do some Bondo repair. And then, so you can see what happened. A lot of this material has been rubbed off. So this is where potentially someone could use like a maybe some some mesh or fiberglass resin or like a plastic weld epoxy be creative do what works for you um, I'll get to that at a different at a later time well that's it for that thanks for watching and I hope it helps bye